Hey guys, today we are going to be learning how to sew this 180 degree flare dress. This is a perfect dress for Sunday and I also went ahead to create this very beautiful design in front and it has different sleeves. It's actually a very beautiful dress and I love it so much. And if you are interested, you'll be needing like six yards of fabric. You can use less than six yards, maybe five yards at least for this dress and this is the fabric that i use it's an ankara fabric and um so now i'll just be showing you how you can go about with the cutting of the 180 degree flare before we go about with the cutting of the top part of the dress so for the 180 degree flare let's assume that this is the fabric that you are using so you'll be needing about three to four yards of fabric nothing less than three yards of fabric to be able to get this length unless you are sewing it for a child so three to four yards is what i use i actually use three and a half yards for mine so this we are assuming this is a fabric this is a three and a half yards of fabric so now you're just going to place it on fold like this so that means one side is about one and half yards and then the other part is about one and half yards thereabout so when you place it on fold the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to be dividing our waistline by by 3.14 which is a standard measurement when you want to draft any circle so my waist measurement is 25 plus 2 inch for sewing allowance that is zipper allowance that is 27 so i'll divide it by 3.14 and whatever i get i'll go ahead and mark it on the pattern paper like this so since this is an illustration i cannot mark this the answer that i got i got about nine inches thereabout so i'll just be using this as a sample and right here i will just assume that i got one inch so i'll just be marking it on the pattern paper but if you are drafting it directly on the fabric which you, you are supposed to draft directly on the fabric please go ahead and mark exactly what you got when you divided your waist measurements by 3.14 so when you mark it you mark it all the way to the other side so from the, the midpoint you're also going to determine the length of the flared uh, skirts or the, the flared dress so for the 180 degree flare the length of the dress that i want to use is 47 inches that is for the down part of the dress alone is 47 inches so plus the answer that i got when i divided my waist measurements by 3.14 I got 9 inches so everything that I marked on the fabric is about 55 inches so I'll mark 55 inches from the zipper point all the way to the down part of the side if you notice the, fab the, the fabric will definitely not be enough for you to mark that 55 inches or depending on what you are using on the directly so what I'm doing is I'll mark the 55 inches and I'll stop it exactly where it can stop that is as far as it can go and then after that i'll cut off um, the 55 inches points that i marked out then after cutting it up i will notch the the midpoint and i'll open it up like so so after opening it up i'm just going to place another piece of fabric on it as i'm showing you your right now you can go ahead and sew it but since i'm showing is an illustration i just i just uh, tape it down but if you are using a fabric go ahead and sew the piece of fabric onto the other one they are using maybe 0 0.25 inch allowance just sew it down so after sewing it down you're going to come back again and you're going to mark the remaining part of the fabric that we have not yet marked that 55 inches so you're going to go ahead and mark it all the way to the other side so when you mark it you go ahead and cut it and this is the perfect full and uh, 180 degree flare so now i'll just go ahead and cut off that waistline and this is what we have so if you notice this is a half circle so 180 degree flare is about um it's all about having a half circle not a full circle so now I'll just go ahead and measure from that one zipper point on to all the way to the other zipper point and i'll make sure that i get my 27 inches which is my waistline measurements plus two inch for zipper allowance after that now i'm just going to be showing you how to draft the top part of the dress 
in order to do that i've gone ahead to draw a straight line from the top of the paper and from that straight line i'll mark my chest line measurements after marking my chest line measurements i'll go ahead and mark half of my shoulder measurements on both the chest line and the top part of the fabric of the paper and i'll go down by one inch and i'll connect it all the way to the chest line like this from here i'll just mark three inches so when you mark it you will now connect it to that one inch point like so and then from here on the chest line i'll divide my bust measurement by four while on this other line i'll divide that line by two and i'll go in by half an inch so after that i'll just use my free hand to connect it from the shoulder point all the way down to the chest line at that bust area point like so so with this i've successfully connected it to draw the armhole so um, i'm using three inches for the neck width that is the neck depth and i'll connect it to the other three inch point that we marked earlier so from here now i'll go in by 1.5 inch that is from that neck width i'll go in by 1.5 inch and i'll connect drawing a straight line so i'll make sure i maintain that 1.5 inch when i'm drawing all the way down to the chest line like so so i'll just continue drawing connecting using dotted lines because um i may still did do some correction okay so i'm using dotted lines so after i reach the point that i'm satisfied like how exposed i want it to be i will just curve it all the way to the the armhole that is the midpoint of the armhole like so when i use my measuring tape and i'll measure from that shoulder point i went down by 1.5 inch from that shoulder point as you can see there so the the curve starts from 4.5 inch inches from the shoulder so after that I'll, I'll mark my bust line measurements and i'll mark my waistline measurements so that is my front waistline measurement which is 16.5 so after marking it i'll just connect it with a straight rule and i'll label it my chest line my bust line and my waistline so on my bust line i'll mark half of my nipple to nipple measurements i'll also mark it on the waistline and i'll connect it um from about one inch away from the bust line i'll connect it to the waistline like so so on that waistline also i'll go i'll mark it out of 0.5 inch on both sides and i'll connect it to that bust area points like so and this will be the dart that i'll be using for today's tutorial and then after that i'll go ahead and mark quarter of my waist measurements plus the one inch that we use for the dart i'll mark it there and i'll connect it all the way to the chest line like so for the bust dart i'll be minusing my back waistline measurements from my front waistline measurements so my back waistline is 15 while my front waistline is 16.5 so the SS is 1.5. So I'm just marking 1.5 inches from the bust line all the way down. So and I divided it by 0.75 inch equally. And now I'll just be connecting it to about 1.5 inch away from the bust points. And I'll connect it like so drawing the dots. So now I'm just after drawing it out, so I'm just going to be taking the dart on the pattern paper, directly on the pattern paper. So I'll just take the dart like this, tape it down together, and I'll draw a straight line, connecting the chest line all the way to the waistline. So by the time you take the dart, you'll notice that the chest line and the, the line is no longer straight. So I'll just use my straight route to connect it and i also go ahead to add sewing allowance to that point like so and after that i will just cut it off so by the time you cut you open it up this is what it should look like so at this point also i decided that i wanted it to be a little lower than it is right now so i just went down by six inches so instead of using 4.5 inch i used six inches so i'll just maintain that 1.5 inch from the neckline 
and i will just connect it all the way to the six inch points that i marked and then all the way to the midpoint of the armhole like so so with this now the design in front is a little deeper compared to how it was from the beginning it's not as low as it's not as high as the other one this one is lower and i think it's more flattering and that's why i decided to take it down a little bit so after that i'll just go ahead to cut it off and so for the back i'll go ahead to draw a straight line also at the edge of the pattern paper pattern paper and from that straight line i'll mark out just two measurements which is my chest line and my waist back waistline so my back waistline is different from my front waistline which is 15 inches for my back and the front is 16.5 the next thing we are going to do is i'll still go ahead and mark out my zipper line because this is the back and the zip is at the back so i'll just go ahead and create a space for the zipper line like so so after that the next thing we are going to do is from that zipper point at the top of the paper i'll mark half of my shoulder measurements also on the chest line i'll mark it and i'll go down by one inch from this point and i'll connect it all the way to the chest line like so so also on this point i'll go in by three inch for the neck width that's what i use for the front it's the same thing that i'm using for the back why for the back i'm going down by one inch for the back and i'll just connect it all the way to the neck width like so and i'll connect it and extend it to the zipper line so also for the back i'll go in by 1.5 just like we did for the front i'll go in by 1.5 and next i'll just divide this line by two and i'll mark quarter of my bust measurements on the chest line and i'll connect this with like so so next i'll go down by six inches remember we went down by six inches for the front instead of 4.5 we extended it to six inches so now i'll also do the same thing for the back and I'll connect it all the way to the midpoint of the armhole like so. The next thing to do now, I'll just mark quarter of my waist measurements. I'm not using any darts for this, so I'll just go ahead and connect it to the chest line and I'll also add sewing allowance to it as well. So after that, I'll just go ahead and cut it out and this is what we have for the back. One thing I did also is to go in by 0.5 inch for the back and I connected it all the way to the chest line like so yeah this is just to eliminate bulginess at the back and for it to have a perfect fit even at the back so so i've gone ahead to place the pattern on the front and i've cut adding allowance to the points as shown and then right here i'm just placing my lace i have this extra lace at home i decided to just do something creative with it so now i'm just placing it on the front pattern like so I'll, I've chased out the line that I want to follow for this lace placement and I'll just go ahead and cut it off on the lace like so. So I'll just follow the front pattern exactly what we have for the front. I'll just trace it onto the lace like so. So make sure you do not cut the front. We are only cutting the lace to have the same shape with the front. And then there's this lance design in front like so so i'll go ahead and hem it in place sewing it all the way around all around so this is also for the back and this is what we have i'll just go ahead and join the line into it and close it so at this point also i've also gone ahead to take the dots for the front and also for the lining as well and i've joined the lining to the front fabric at the neckline and also at that design okay so now we are going to be joining the back to the front at the shoulder point and i'll also join it to the other side as well and i'll join it at the side seam and this is what we have like so so this is the 180 degree that i cut on the fabric and this is what it looks like so now i'm just going to be placing my bodies on it and i'll sew from one point to the next so this is what we have you can see it is 
very clean and everything is equal um and now I'll just fold it in place and i'll add my zip to this so after that now for the sleeve i'm gonna have to use a basic sleeve to cut this first sleeve so for the first sleeve the length of the sleeve is about 14 inches plus sewing allowance so it's about 15 inches thereabouts and then after that i have another piece of fabric here that i'm going to place on fold so it is a 20 by 20 inches fabric and i place it on fold and i also fold it further again so we have four pieces right here so now i'm just going ahead to take the other uh, fabric that we cut out and i'll measure from one point from one side seam to the next i got 12 inches and i minus it minus two inches for it for sewing allowance that is 10 inches so i'll divide my 10 inches by six and because this is a full circle that i'm trying to draft i divided it by six and not by 3.142 okay so i'm dividing it by six so after dividing it by six whatever i get i'm going to be marking it on the fabric like so so right at this point i marked two inches but i later reduced it to about 1.5 inches like i added a sewing allowance to it and to be honest it was still full so you can use one inch for yours and it will come out just fine so now when you open it up this is what it looks like so now just uh, fold it in like so and this is it this is basically what the handkerchief sleeve looks like so now i will just go ahead and hem the edge of the fabric from one point to the next So after hemming, I will close this other sleeve at the side seam, and then after that, I will join the full circle to the other side of the sleeve like that. While for the off shoulder point, I'm going ahead to I'm going to go ahead and cut half an inch away from the armhole for both the back and the front. This is just to make sure that the off shoulder is well fitted. So at this point, I'll go ahead and measure from the armhole for the front all the way to the side seam whatever i get i'll keep noted down and i'll also mark from the side seam all the way to the armhole at the back that is the top of the armhole so this is also another basic sleeve pattern so i marked the back side and the front so on the front side after minusing my one inch which is for sewing allowance i'll go ahead and mark whatever i get while i measured that bodies okay for the front and then also on the back after minusing my one inch for sewing allowance i'll go ahead and mark whatever i got while measuring the armhole from the side seam to the top of the the frame back part the part top of the back so after marking both sides i'll use my tape rule and i'll connect it like so and i'll go ahead and fold it in like so is what we have i also going ahead to mark 0.25 inch on both sides from the midpoints that is both sides i'll mark 0.25 and now i'll just go ahead and connect it closing the dots like so so the essence of doing this is just to remove excess from that shoulder off shoulder point so now i'll just i've gone ahead to cut on the fabric and i've also cut the lace as well so exactly what i called for the fabric i called for the lace and also for the lining so after joining the lace to the fabric i'll be joining the lining as well and i'll turn it to the right side and from here i'll just attach it and that's all for today's video